Hi everyone, it's Christy with Cottage Grove Quilt Company coming to you from my studio today as we work on our V block. It occurred to me for our quilt along that we had talked about the block and all the units in it, but what we failed to talk about was the sashing. So today we're going to start on our sashing. And y'all, I'm going to give you two weeks to do this because there's a lot of V blocks that you need to make for your sashing. And I mean a lot. You're going to get to know this tool very, very well. And they are small. They're two inch. Um, you're going to do a two and a half inch cut size, two inch finish V block. But I'm going to show you how easy it is to do with the Studio 180 tools. So let's get ready. Okay, so first up, we have our tool. This is the V block trimmer tool. And you can see on here, it says for a two inch finished unit, I need my cut strips to be three inches. And that's what I have right here. And this is going to be my center. So I have double folded it, so I'm gonna cut four at a time. And I do that a lot. And since I'm working with batiks, it is a bit of a thinner fabric. Now I'm just gonna ease this over a little bit and just cut off that excess fold and trim it straight. Now, to cut my centers, I'm going to come along and do my first cut for my side triangles. Now, you can see I'm on the dashed line on my outer edge, and across the bottom it says, cut strips three inches. And I'm just going to cut, just like that. Ta-da! Right? Then I'm going to take my fabric and I flip my fabric. This is very, very important. You never flip your tool. You always flip your fabric. So we're going to line this up across the bottom. I have three inch and then across the line here I have my previous cut. So now I'm going to cut just like that. See, look. All right, let me show it to you again. So I have my fabric. I'm going to flip my fabric. And then we're going to come over here. And I'm going to lay this out on the side just like so. Cut. All right. So that is my triangle right there, perfectly cut, oversized for us to make a perfect finished block. All right, now we got to do our sides because a V block is essentially a square, a triangle in a square unit. All right, so same thing, three inch strip. I'm going to cut my fold off, line that up, cut my fold off. And here we go. And then we're going to do the cut line for the side triangles. Now we're see we're going to be focused on this black line right here. Black line right there. Okay, look at that. There it is. Now we're going to take this and rotate it. <laughs> And we're going to go completely around down to the bottom where we have six and a half down here. You have this line that goes all the way down for our diagonal. And then we're going to cut. So that's our side triangles. So let's see that one more time. We're going to go on the thick line, the thick, thick line. And then we're going to rotate our tool all the way down to where it says six and a half on the bottom. Line that edge up. And cut. All right. Now let's take these pieces over to the sewing machine. Now, just as the same when we did with the corner pop, it is very important to lay this out because the V-block can give us some angle challenge. So I always lay my triangle out first and then I put my right side on and then my left side on. And you can see when I marry this together, it'll make a square. Now, if I put these on backwards, it'll look something like this. And y'all, that'll never make a square. So be sure you lay it out. So I've got this. We're going to take and put this together. And this is the way I do it. I just line the point up here at the top, line that up down there at the bottom. See how that makes that nice line? And I come right up here to my machine and zippity-doo-dah. Doo 
Now we're going to fold this and finger press it out just like so. Just like so. Finger press. There we go. And then we're going to add the other side to it. Now you can go and press these out. If you finger press really good, you shouldn't have to. Now you're going to marry this up point to point up here and then go down the edge. And then I stitch with the triangle on top and with the point down here at the bottom. Okay, line that up, put it right there on my quarter inch, and away we go. And then look at this, y'all. I've got a nice, beautiful V block. So let's do one more. Now you can chain piece these. You can do all the left side at one time and then come back and do all the right side or however you want to do it. That's fine. We're just going to do one more so I can have two to show you how to trim down. And you can see they don't take much time to do, but you know, we got to do a lot of them. And again, I'm going to give you two weeks, so there won't be a video next week. I'm going to give you two weeks to make all these because there's a lot of them. You know, before we can piece the quilt together, we got to have our sashing done. And silly me, totally forgot about that. I don't know where my brain was, but it wasn't obviously attached to my head. All right, so line that up. Stitch. All right. So I'm going to give these a quick press, and then I'll meet you at the cutting table for trimming them down. So here we are at the cutting table, and I have these cute little V-blocks ready to trim down. So here's how I always do. My point is at the top. My point is my critical most intersection. And what I'm going to do is I am aligning this so that my two and a half inches is within the span of this outside line right here. See that? That's my two and a half inches. Yep, my two and a half inches. Actually, I'm doing this, I knew something wasn't right. Point to the belly. Do my point to the belly. I'm like, what's, what am I missing here? I'm doing something backwards. All right, always do your point to the belly. That's very important. Right there. So my seam lines, my stitch lines, are right there on that V. See that? Right there on that V. So if I'm off any, I can make a little bit of an adjustment. There we go. And then I'm going to trim up and over. Hmm, it's hard to do that on that camera. All right, and then we're going to rotate it. And then we're going to lay this out where we've got our two and a half in the box. Two and a half cleanup line there, two and a half there. X mounts the spot right there. See that X? Whoops, I zoomed in too much right there. X marks the spot. It's just like Dora the Explorer. X marks the spot. I zoomed in, but then my camera, I didn't zoom in too far. So X marks the spot. And right there, how we have that intersection. Now we're going to clean up on the right and then across the top. All right, so let's zoom out and we'll do this process again. Have that nice, perfect little block right there. So point to the belly, point to the belly, line it up. And I'll zoom in here and show you what all I'm looking at. So you can see right here at this bottom, we have the two intersection right here, the two intersection right here, and those lines, and that's what we want. And then we're going to come out, and then we're going to trim. And then we're going to rotate our block, and then we're going to lay it out again. We have our cleanup lines here. Clean up there. And then again, just to zoom in, the X marks the spot. You can see right there that X is right on it. And that's what we want. How clean that is. All right. And trim again. Okay. 
and just like that this is all the waste you're going to have it's not a whole lot but it's enough that you can get it to be a perfect size look at how cute those are all right so you're going to make a whole bunch of those refer to your instruction sheet for the quantity and uh, that'll be the project you have for the next two weeks Again, I appreciate you being patient with us, but um, this will keep you busy for two weeks. And then when we come back, we'll finish our sashing and then start putting our top together. We should have it done before long. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.